Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome to my second attempt at episode 62 of You Don't Want Anything With Kids. Um, and I say second attempt because I'd literally just finished recording, I was just finishing up the, the, you know, saving the file and things like that, and my computer crashed, so well done desktop. So basically, I've gone back, uh, reloaded the game, and yeah. You remember in the last episode, 61, um, I talked about playing Lincoln in the FA Trophy. Um, I'll tell you that just now, first time round, I drew... Oh, hang on. I might have just made a massive error here. Let me go back and check this. I have made a massive error. Okay, excuse me. Uh, in the first leg, let's say, or in the, the first tie of the round... Um, I thought I'd lost the file, but I haven't. We drew to all with Lincoln. So this is actually the first attempt at episode 62, because I deleted the previous attempt thinking that it was a failure, but it wasn't a failure. This should actually be episode 63, but it's not, because episode 62 no longer exists, so this is episode 62. See if you can make sense of that. Anyway, um, so yeah, I thought that this was the match that had been lost. Uh, but it wasn't. It was a two-all draw. We were winning 1-0 against Lincoln. Um, I said that I would give Lee Barnard one last chance to prove his worth in the team. And you can see here he scored. And he scored in the fifth minute. So we actually took the lead very, very early. They then had a guy called Abdi. I think Abdi Yusuf or Abby or Adi Yusuf. Um, Yusuf, who scored twice in nine minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to put us 2-1 down. And then I think it was in the 80-something minute, uh, Thompson, it looked like a poor cross from Cartwright. It went over the defender's head, luckily, landed at the feet of Thompson, who hit it straight at the keeper, who somehow could only palm it into the back of his own net. Um, so we actually went from being 1-0 up to 2-1 down to 2-all. Um, and again, like I said, I thought we'd lost that match, but we hadn't. So this is actually the replay at home against Lincoln. So, uh, here's the team that I had first time round, um, and I'd like to make a couple of changes. You see here, Stevens has picked up an injury, so he can't play, and Delamond has picked up an injury, so he can't play. Um, so, in Stevens' place, I would like to pick Mutundari, but I'm going to put Mutundari into the team, Lang on the bench, because it was actually Lang's mistake it cost us the first goal. Um, so I'm going to do it like that, and then I'm going to bring Jones. Mm. Yeah, let's move Robinson there. And I'm going to bring Jones in uh, for Robinson. And do I want Hogan or do I want Robinson? I want Hogan. Hogan's got the higher rating. So yeah, we'll do that. And then in midfield, we're going to have uh, let's have McCall. Oh, let's have McGregor come back into that role there. Um, and everything else, I think... Oh, well, actually, Grant maybe bring out and put Carino in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put Carino back into the team instead of Grant. Grant did well, but there's something missing in his game at the moment. Maybe it's because he was playing right mid instead of right back. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, that looks like a good lineup. King, Jones, Cartwright, Hogan, Mutandari... Douglas Pringle, McGregor, Bobo, Lawrence, Carino, Barnard. You know, again, Barnard. I am still looking to sell him. And I did say this in the failed attempt of an episode. Um, if he's going to keep scoring goals, I'm tempted to keep him. But in my head right now, I've still got the, uh, the philosophy that I'm going to sell him next month. Because January is fast approaching. Yeah, we're on the 17th of December today. Or in this episode. So, uh, yeah, December, uh, December, January is approaching. Right. Kick-off. Looking to get the win. Um, just looking at my subs bench. Thompson and Beckhold are my only two offensive changes. The other two are defensive. Um, so really I can only make two proactive subs. And sort of one passive sub maybe as like a precaution or something like that uh, hopefully no one gets themselves sent off because I'm still not happy about the numbers 
well, just the discipline in general of the team is not at a level that I'm happy with. Um, oh, Bobo's picked up an injury, so he might have to come off in a minute. Let this bit run out and see what happens, because Barnard's just picked the ball up in a good area. Uh, he's laid it off quite weakly, actually, there to Carino, but Carino runs through. Ball to the back post, hits the bar. Is Bobo able to keep this one in? It looks like he could. Ooh. Okay, I think Bobo is... Uh, uh, do you know what? I'll give him a couple more minutes. Because, you know, he managed to chase that one down. And he did a good piece of skill. He did get another whack. But, um, you know, my assistant's telling me to sub him as quick as possible. Um, but he, his, his condition looks like it's actually improving. So, like I said, I'll give him a couple more minutes and see how he does. Okay. I think now's the time to blink because we're 1-0 down, we need a goal, and we're carrying a passenger. So we're going to bring Beckhold on now for Bobo. Um, and hopefully Beckhold can also help us turn this round because uh, he likes to make those little inside channel runs um, which get us the goals. That's a poor goal to concede. He's just hit it straight across the keeper there. King maybe could have saved it. Mutandari could have got a block in. But, uh, not to worry now, we're 1-0 down. What's, what's gone is gone, what's happened has happened. And it's up to us now to turn it around and get back in the lead. Or even equalise first, then get back in the lead. Or just get in the lead, because we never were. You know what I mean, equalise and then get in the lead. So we're at half-time. It is still 1-0 to Lincoln. Uh, we'll go straight into the second half, because we've already made one sub, and I don't really want to make a second. I can't speak ever now. I always say today, but... I can't speak ever, because I do this every time. Right, let me start again. I'm not going to make any subs at half-time, because I've already made one substitution, and I don't think two substitutions at, uh, you know, before half-time is such a good idea, or before or on half-time. That was a good ball to Carino, good save. Weak shot from Carino, but, you know, the keeper still did well to keep it out, because it could have slipped underneath him. Uh, right, McGregor with the corner. Yeah, that looked poor. I think that went straight out for a goal kick. It is Adi Yusuf, you can see him at the bottom there. Luckily it wasn't him who scored actually, again, because that would have been technically his hat-trick. Um, Possession-wise, we've turned them over, because they were dominating in the first half, but shots-wise, they've had more shots on target, even though we've had more shots. So, you know, we need more shots, and we need more shots on target. Um, good defending there between Hogan and Mitten. Oh, it was anyway, until they gave it away again. Mutandari with a weak... Oh, dear. That was poor for Mutandari. That was really poor. I hope he's got his head in his hands because he could have just cost his team a cup place. It looked like Hogan had won it and all Mutandari had to do was clear it and then suddenly he, he lost it again. And King really should have saved it, but Mutandari's the one who's got to hold his hands up there. That was woefully poor. Um, and in fact, just for that, purely just for that, I'm going to bring him off and I'm going to put Klopmas on. Because that, that, you don't get to stay in my team when you're making mistakes like that. That was woeful. That was diabolical. It's cringy how bad that was. It really is. Alright, so, Tom Lawrence has also been quite error prone, so I think the next sub would be to bring him off and stick Thompson on and see if we can get another goal out of Thompson or at least a goal, maybe get two goals. Um, I think Lawrence has just picked up an injury as well by the looks of it. Oh god yeah he definitely has. Right, Thompson on for Lawrence. A lot of subs that I make at the moment are forced subs, they're not so much tactical, they're more um, I've had a player who's been whacked or sent off and therefore I've got to reorganise the team to compensate for that. I'm finding it a little bit frustrating. I could do the whole referees need to give my players more protection kind of thing, but at the end of the day, there's something not right with our training programme if we've got all these players getting injured all the time. Um, so I might have to have a look at that. In the meantime, Hogan on the ball. Is he going to play it back to King or is he... No, he's turned. He's lumped it forward. He's lumped it to no one. That's that's poor as well. Beckhold seems to have changed his mind about coming for a challenge there. Luckily that came to Cartwright. This it's this bit here, they're just 
they're knocking it around, but they're not really going anywhere. Barnard eventually thumps it over the top. That's a good run from Beckhold. That's a good finish from Beckhold. Oops. Caught my headset there. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, bit of luck again. Their keeper seems to be a bit uh, error prone because that's how we got the equaliser in the first um, match against Lincoln. You know, Beckhold made a good run. Barnard picked him out with a pretty good ball, actually. I was quite impressed with that. And you see Barnard's match rating. He's actually the second highest performer of the team. So, uh, maybe I was a little premature in trying to get rid of him. I'm, mm, I kind of don't want to cave in, though, because he had that huge hissy fit. I can't remember if I caught that on, uh, on video or not. But um, he basically came in and said that he wanted more first-team football, and I said that he had to wait his chance, and he said he wanted to leave. So, I was getting ready to sell him, pretty much. But I thought I'd give him one last chance, if anything, to raise his street value so that uh, if a team wanted him, I could ask for a bit more money. But, you know, he, he seems to actually be doing the business now. So you can't can't complain at that, can you? That's a good ball from McGregor into, into Barnard. Um, got a bit lucky there. Deflected out to Douglas Pringle, who's picked out Beckhold. And actually, a good run and cross here. And we could be looking at 2-2. Thompson hits the bar. Oh, defender got there first. It looked like Beckhold did head it back across goal, but um, I'm guessing it came to nothing. Oh, I'm actually chewing my fingernails now. I really want this to be a draw. So, you know, at least we have the luxury of extra time. Oh, Thompson's been forced off injured. Um, that's, that's not helpful. He was actually... I mean, Lawrence was doing okay in that role, but... It's like the pivot point of the midfield. Everything works off that one man in the middle, depending on where he goes. So, to lose him... we I mean, we've got five minutes injury time for him getting injured, so maybe we give him credit for that. But this is pretty much the end of the match now, and it looks very much like we're heading out of the FA Trophy, unless Carino can pull something special out here. It's not a bad cross. It's fell a bit short. Defender clears it, and that is full time. Um, horrific defensive mistake from, uh, what's his name? Takura Mantandari. Um, you know, the first goal, maybe he could have closed the, the guy down and stopped him from scoring. Was it Freya? 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 However you pronounce his name. Freya. Um, he could have closed him down for the first goal. And for the second goal, Hogan looked like he'd won it back off Freya. And then Mantandari just gave it straight back to him didn't bother putting a challenge in the guy got past him and just drilled it past King so uh, I just looking at the time I think what I'm going to do is go into the news screen quickly and just see how long Thompson and Bobo are both out for because uh, let's skip through all this stuff so Bobo's between 12 days and 2 weeks and Thompson is 4 to 5 days. So Thompson actually got forced off with a bruised rib, which I think he could have stayed out there for, really. Considering we were 2-1 down and pushing for an equaliser, I think he probably could have played through the pain barrier. But anyway, that's another problem. We can focus on our league campaign now since we're out of the cup. Um, we might have an FA Cup run if we're in the qualifiers. I can't remember if we are or not. Probably not actually at this stage of the season, unless we lost the match. I don't know. The point is, our cup run looks like it's over for this season, so um, we're just going to focus on the league. And that pretty much ends this episode, so thank you very much guys for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Uh, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.